Hello everyone, welcome back to the Shadows of Rose. Can I go in this door? No. So here we are in... I, I can't remember her name's house. Today was my first day of school. I've always wanted to go. I'm gonna give Chris a big hug next time I see him. Is this Rose's diary? There were so many kids my age. It was... It was like I walked into a TV show or something. I was so scared when I had to introduce myself to the class, but I was still super duper excited to be there. I'm going to make so many friends. I'm going to try to talk to them tomorrow. I try to be brave and talk to some other kids, but no one wants to talk to me. Schoolwork is super easy. It's all stuff I learned with mommy. But I guess I shouldn't answer all the teacher's questions. The boy behind me said something really mean. My hands go icky with white sweat when I panic. It was really bad today. Today the teacher yelled at me for always carrying my hanky. She says I'm not a baby anymore. The boys at school keep saying I'm icky. But I take a bath every night, always wear clean clothes, and bring a fresh hanky every day. It's because of the stupid white sweat. Whenever it starts coming out of my hands, I wipe it off right away. But sometimes it won't wipe off, so I just hold my hanky really tight. Chris even told the teacher it can't get anyone sick, but it didn't change anything. Someone finally talked to me. Lucy from my class said she always wanted to be friends. We're going to have lunch together tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I hope Lucy's friend Catherine yes, will be my yes. friend too. I suspect that goes south very quickly, but that does seem like Rose's diary. Rose's memories rather than... Anybody else's. What is this? Okay, so I'm looking for some kind of a key that is a baby. That sounded weird, out of context. Um, don't know really what to say about that. This is the hallway where the giant baby thing attacks you. That's Why is weird. That a picture of me? That's very odd. I mean, it's a good picture, but... Yes, this is where the baby attacks you. That is not comforting. Are we going to have baby round two? Let me look at this area first. Nice doll head. We cannot play with the radio, which is incredibly disappointing. Is there anything in here I need to know about? No. Cool. What's this? That's suspicious, but sure. Okay. Yep. Playtime. You don't need that junk. Hey, my stuff. Okay, yep, we're gonna have an encounter with the baby again. Alright. Well, might as well go in here first, because the door is open. We'll turn that off, first off. Nobody needs running water. Nobody needs to be wasting water like that. Come on. Do I still have to hide in the closet? No! Okay, so this might be something different then. Do I still have a flashlight? Does this door open? Uh, no. Alright. What? This is where Ethan escaped from the giant baby at some point. Okay, here's the light. So we still have that. Alright. So what was making the noise? Is that a locked bureau? It is. With a six-digit number code that I don't have. Alright. It's rusted shut. Fantastic. So, where am I going from here? Can I examine any of these other ones, or just that one? That's great. Okay, so I can still run. Obviously, I can't shoot. I have nothing. That's locked from the other side. This opens just fine. Can I go out the other door? Oh! I need the scissors to... Of course. I don't have the scissors, though. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I go down here. Just 
Jimmy's room. That's great for Jimmy. I can't get in Jimmy's room. All right. The only other place I haven't been would be back out here. I'm going to walk. Just in case this goes south, because this is about where the baby appeared, so. No, we don't have any sort of baby incidents going on here. Absolutely, I mean, the journal's gone, which is fairly interesting. Can I get in here now? No, we still can't get in there. Can I get in the elevator? Looks like a breaker box for the elevator. Can I just leave? No. <laughs> Worth a shot, right? Okay, so. Where do I need to be then? I must be missing something incredibly obvious. Probably walked right by it. I need to get into Jimmy's room. But I don't have the key. I'm guessing I need to get into Jimmy's room. Anyways. Alright. I'm assuming I need... Okay, there's nothing there. What about the desk? Nothing. This is rusted shut. Yeah. I can open this. Oh! O, O2. That's nice. O2. I don't know why I bothered closing it. I should probably just leave that open, to be honest. Okay, so that's part of the code for... 440244. Four, but I don't have any particular context for the order here. Is the rest of the code in this room? I need two more digits. I'm assuming yes. I just haven't found the last two digits. Zero two four four. That's the picture that I originally. Is there any indication here? No. Can this open now? No. I thought the slamming might have opened that up, but clearly no. Garbage? No. Okay. Is it something I'm just really obviously missing? <sighs> no, apparently not. I might go check out the other... Oh, wait. No. The other locker and see if that opens up and gives me a number. This does, just doesn't open up. All right. So the last two numbers have to be in that room then. It's not out here, is it? No. It's not on the ceiling. Not anywhere here. Okay. Oh. Is that 6-6 six, six or 9-9? Nine, nine? I'm guessing from the angle, that's 6-6. Six, six. Alright, so 0-2. I don't know what the order is, though. I guess there's only a couple of different combinations that we can try. 0-2. Four, four. I'm going the wrong direction here. Six, six. No? Hey, there we go. Guessed right on the first try. Isn't that lovely? Scissors. Thank you. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what broke. Ooh. Okay. Um, is this a threat or is this just for ambiance? Apparently, it's just for ambiance. 
it would be really nice if you turned your flashlight on so I could actually see what's going on here. Check the room really quick. Seems clear. Now you turn the flashlight on? Let's... Oh, I have to have my back to the door. Isn't that delightful? Can we open this up really quick just to make sure there's nothing in here? Oh, no monkeys. Mr. Monkey has a tummy ache. He might give you the crystal if you help him. I doubt it. Call and cap on that. <laughs> we have a cutaway for the cutaway. Okay, that is the relief of a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't get the crystal by slicing open your friend. Who are you? Because you don't sound like the original doll. The ventriloquist. Yeah, can you turn around, Rose? Uh, you know how to play with dolls, don't you? Oh, that's cool. Again? What now? That's really cool. Play with the dolls. Wait a minute, what's this over here? Doll Pose 1. I bet you can find all kinds of places to play with this doll and her friends. That's Lucy. Great. Alright. There's Lucy's. Lucy. Okay. So that's one doll. What else do we need? Maybe you'll get the crystal once you get the campfire started. Sure thing. I still doubt this. You want me to play with dolls? Oh, there's multiple places to- Oh, I see. You have to bring the dolls from place to place. Or right, this one only requires two dolls. Let me go back and get Lucy then. Because this requires four dolls. And I can't guarantee that this one is going to be the first completed one. This one doesn't have a name tag attached to it. Those two are scratched out. Interesting. So does is Lucy the only doll required there? Well, that, well, let's check the hallway at the very least. Nope, Jimmy's room is just still just Jimmy's room there. Okay. I'm going to go back and cover the area I've previously covered before. Let me check this room for dolls. Oh, I can't. All right, let me see if there's any dolls here. There's no dolls here. Okay, so I have Lucy, and I need Catherine. Okay. Now, for these two... Are any of these Catherine scratched out? No. No, no, no. We don't want to put Lucy there. I know where Lucy goes there, but... Okay, there's writing on the walls Someone now. Someone really went all out. Right. No doll there. This is where I put the child relief... That also sounded odd. Let me make sure there's no dolls back here. We have no dolls? That's great. You know, I'm going to randomly save just in case. Uh, just because my primary concern right now is that I die and I would have to reload all the way back from the first part. Which would be a bit inconvenient. Alright, relief of a child. No kidding, I unlocked it. Okay, there's more dolls there. There's a bunch of dolls there, actually. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything specific. Doll pose two. So this just requires two other dolls. No one wants to be her friend. What a loser. Is there anything in this? No, there's not. Okay. Can I... The label's completely legible. I'm gonna guess this is not relevant. No, that is not even remotely relevant. All right, we'll take Lucy back. We're gonna take, uh, Catherine. All right. That's lovely. Well, I guess these two go into that bathroom scene or it looks like a... Oh, hello. This is... Totally fine. Aren't you the doll that Ethan cut open? Pretty sure you are. You're gonna follow me, aren't you? Nope, surprisingly you're not. Okay. Fair enough. 
Now, we're talking Lucy. And then we have Catherine. Yup. A red yeah, yeah, key. I get it. Fuck you. Jimmy's room key. Alright. Take Catherine and Lucy. I'm guessing that's in reference to that journal I read earlier. Wasn't the girl's name Lucy? Pretty sure it was. I need... Four... I, there's four dolls total kicking around. I have two of them. That's great for me. Oh, great. Uh, Jimmy... Uh, Jimmy really needs to stop digging. I'm just saying. I know you like Minecraft, Jimmy, but this is extreme. It really is. Oh, that's promising. Mm-hmm. Well, down the well we go once again. Oh, we're gonna actually climb down this one. Rather than dropping down like we have been pretty consistently anytime we've encountered a ladder. Fair enough. Fair enough. There's the third doll. That's some God, random clown. This is so creepy. This does not explain where the fourth doll is. <sighs> oh. That helps me not at all. There's you again. All right. Well, we're going to pass right by you because you didn't do anything last time. And I'm not expecting you to do anything yet this time. Third time is going to be the charm, though, isn't it? Jimmy does have a really nicely painted door, though. Alright, so I have three dolls so far. Now, where do I put the three dolls? There's four required here. Do I... Can I take the... Can I take this doll in here? No, I can't. Alright. Oh, that's because it's just another doll here. Uh, let me... Go ahead and try putting the three dolls here. There's Lucy. That's fine. Will you relax? I'm not done placing the dolls yet. I, if I had to take a guess, I'm guessing it's this doll. Yep. Catherine. And then this seems like it should be... Yeah. But that doesn't explain to me what this is supposed to be. I probably have to go and take these to the other location, to be honest. So let's try that. Is this... Does this have a doll in it now? No. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Uh-huh. I still don't care. Let's go in here. Alright, so we have... Oh, we do have three doll spots. Alright, so let's assume the clown goes here. Yeah. Uh... This is where Catherine was. You were there. And then up here must be Lucy. Because you're always holding something, yeah, like that. Alright, so they fakely gave her a present. There's the fourth doll that I needed. Thank you. The black-haired doll. Great for me. So happy. Alright, but that's the fourth doll that I've been looking for for quite some time now. I'm assuming... The mannequin is going to make an appearance here, and it's probably going to be actually dangerous. No? Okay. Not yet? After I put the dolls down? Or... Oh, right here. Okay, hello. I was actually expecting her to attack me, to be honest. Alright, here's Lucy. The black-haired doll without a nameplate, which I feel is really significant. You're just going to chill out here for some bizarre reason, because you're not doing anything useful with your hands. Which makes you easily the weakest character in this story. Here's you. Holding the torch. Pretty sure that's a torch. You're holding kindling, as clowns tend to do. Uh-huh. 
I want to know what that random stick that Lucy's holding is for. Seriously. Fuck you. There's a nice little pyro effect, though. Now, what's here? The breaker box key. Okay. Uh huh, there go the lights again. And now we need to get to the breaker box. There's a phone, sure. Pick it up, why not? Let's live life on the edge. Jeez, bros, you're still looking for the crystal? Fine, I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. Who are you? Ding dong, the line is dead. This isn't an obvious trap at all. Let's just run run for this. Why not? Excuse me? What's all the noise? Uh, it's game over if they catch you. Great. That, that, don't look away. Alright, that means save. That's exactly what that means. Would this make for a good episode? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we'll go on ahead and make this an episode. Uh, thank you all very much for joining me. If you liked this, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, please ignore me. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. And thank you all very much for joining me, and have a great 24 hours.